Hey everyone! So this is going to be the look that I'm going to be showing you guys today. This is a super simple, really soft, um, gold, sparkly, holiday look. Um, I'm going to actually show you this entire look from start to finish, from my foundation, through my highlight contour, eyes, lips, everything. Um, so let's get started! I'm starting with my foundation already done. So the products that I used all over on my skin are the Benefit Pore Professional Primer. And I also used a little bit of a color corrector because I have a couple breakouts over here right now. So I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal Corrector in green to help minimize some of that redness. And then I also use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the shade Y225 all over. To apply my foundation, I use the Artiste Brush Oval 8, which is my favorite the foundation brush. Um, for my um, concealer and my highlight. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in light. Um, <clears throat> and the shade that I'm going to be using here is the shade in the very center right there, which is called Neutral. And to apply that, I'm going to be using an Artiste Brush Oval 4. some contour and I'm going to be using the same Anastasia palette to contour with. I'm going to be using this top color right up here, right? Yeah, this top color right up here, which is called Java. And to apply this, I'm going to be using my Sigma Emphasize Contour F57 brush. Um, I'm going to be using that to apply my cheekbone contour and along my forehead. And then I'm just going to use my finger to apply the contour that I want around my nose. So I'm going to do that right now. Now I'm going to be setting all of my foundation with a powder and I'm going to be using the Benefit Pore Professional Agent Zero Shine Powder to do that. And I'm going to be using a powder and pandemonium brush to apply. I'm going to strengthen my contour a little bit with a powder contour and also add some blush and some highlight to the higher planes of my face. In order to do my contour shade and my blush, I'm going to be using from the Benefit uh, Real Cheeky Blushing Beauty Kit. I'm going to use... For my contour shade, I'm going to use Hoola Bronzer, which is right here. It's a little difficult to see. Um, and then for my blush, I think, let's see, which one do I want to use? I think I'm going to use Coralista. I might take a little bit of Coralista and Rock and mix them together, but that's essentially what I'm going to be doing. And then for my highlight shade, I'm going to be using Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Snow Gold Highlighter. Let me open it and show it to you. It's probably not going to be really easy to see on the camera, but anyway, it looks Looks like a re it looks like a white and it has a reflection of gold to it. I'm not usually <clears throat> a big fan of gold highlight for some reason on myself, um, but this particular highlighter I was not a big fan of to begin with because I'm not a big gold highlight person. And then recently I've been using it a lot more just to kind of get myself into the habit of trying newer things. And I've been loving it. It's my absolute favorite highlight right now. So um, yeah, Snow Gold from Makeup Addiction is what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using three different blushes to, uh, I'm sorry, three different brushes to apply. For contour, I'm going to be using this brush here from Powder and Pandemonium. For my blush, I'm going to be using a Smith 115 brush. And then for my highlight, I'm going to be using a Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter F03. My skin is all finished, so now we're going to start moving on to the eyes. So <clears throat> The eyes are going to be super simple today. So what I'm going to start with is I'm just going to take a soft color through my crease first just to add a little bit of definition. And what I'm going to be using is the shade. It's a newer um, shade from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's called Party Dress. It looks like this here. It's just kind of a warmer, uh, lighter brown shade. It's got a couple little specks of gold in it as well. Um, so I'm going to apply that through my crease with a Smith 235 brush. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to be applying one of my favorite eyeshadows, kind of of all time. I use it all the time, and it is ColourPop eyeshadow, and I heart this. It's a little difficult to tell, but it's just kind of a lighter, uh, really shimmery, kind of soft champagne color. And these kinds of shadows apply best actually when using your finger or something um, kind of sponge-like, like almost like a sponge tip applicator. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my lid and into my inner corner just using my finger. I want to add a little bit of extra sparkle to this, so I'm going to add some glitter on top of the areas where I just applied that ColourPop shadow. Um, I'm not going to do a really heavy application of glitter, I just want to have like a couple little sparkly pieces kind of going through the look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Violet Voss, um, I think it's still, I think it's still called Violet Secret Weapon, it doesn't, um, it doesn't have any name on it anymore, but this is the glitter adhesive from Violet Boss. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's called Violet Secret Weapon, and um, the glitter that I'm going to be using is the Violet Boss Limited Edition Glitter in Noel, which is just a really beautiful holographic gold. So I'm going to, I have a little bit of the primer, um, or I'm sorry, the glitter adhesive on my hand, and I'm just going to pick this up with my finger and just kind of pat it on top of my lid in my inner corner, and then I'm going to pick up my glitter with my finger as well and just kind of pat it on exactly where I want to see the glitter. My top lid is finished, so I'm going to move on to my bottom lid now, and what I'm going to do is, in my waterline, I'm going to apply the Benefit Highbrow Pencil, which is just a really light, soft, nude pencil. It has a little bit of a pink undertone to it, and then I'm also going to add a little bit of shadow along my bottom lashes, and I'm just going to use the same shadow that I put in my crease, which is the Anastasia Shadow in Party Dress, and I'm going to use the same Smith 235 brush to apply that as well. After I finished off doing my under eye, I just finished off the rest of my eyes by adding some mascara. The mascara that I used is the Sigma High Caliber Lash Mascara. And then I also used a pair of Wisp Lashes from my academy that I work for, my Beauty Mark Makeup Academy. And um, I also did my eyebrows. And the product that I use for my eyebrows is the Anastasia Dip Brow in Taupe. Um, so... <clears throat> The very last thing I have to do is my lips, and since this is a holiday-inspired look, what holiday look would exist without red lips? So I decided I'm going to do red lips, and uh, the products that I'm going to use is I'm going to use a ColourPop liner. Um, this is the shade Click, so I'm going to use this to line my lips, and then I'm going to use one of my favorite reds, which is the um, LA Splash Smitten Lip Tint in the shade Inflamed. So that completes my super simple, soft, gold, smart, sparkly holiday look. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please continue to let me know what kinds of videos that you guys want to see in the future. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you can be updated as soon as I upload all of my videos. And then until next time, thank you guys so much for watching.